So here they are. I mean, this tower of wheels is probably four and a half feet tall, maybe four feet tall. Um, 315s all around, OEM speed lines. They're, they're painted, but painted poorly. Um, and I think they would look fine on the car, but since I'm a little slow right now and, you know, I powder coat on the side, I'm going to do these in a different color. Um, because it doesn't seem right to have my nicest car rolling around on busted ass wheels. Track wheels are not, so that's the plan. The tread's kind of goofy. They're a little hard, but it, it's like, this is the coldest day of the year so far. Um, so I think it'll be fine. The date code's not old, but I've got a couple of heat cycles and they'll be ready to shred. Um, yeah, I had, <laughs> I had some BFG tires before, I think with the same pattern, um, uh, but they were not very good. These are definitely kind of choppy, but a couple, uh, couple rips and they'll be fine 315 all around will be pretty cool um even if it is on stock wheels just because that is a ton of tire most cars can't do that um but yeah it should be fun i think i need a little spacer so i'll have to figure that out i'll have to mock it up um the wide body quarters are supposed to be done this week so i'll need a spacer in the back anyway but yeah we'll, we'll figure that out when the time comes so i got one of the tires off this is a big bitch um but it looks like the factory finish is still there, which is not a huge deal. The paint stripper I use is going to take it right off, but I was kind of hoping they had been stripped at some point or maybe sandblasted so it would be easier for me, but it is what it is. I have the tools, but I'm going to get another couple tires off and be done for the night, get them stripping, and then hopefully this weekend we can spray them with the color I have left over from another job. Um, it'll look better than this, that's for sure. So I got the wheel out of the stripper. I can't tell what finish this was originally. It's bare metal now, but I have no indication of what it was. I'm assuming it was that gray color. Um, it looks good. I'm going to have to blast them, but they strip pretty easy, which I'm happy about, and the other three are stripping now. So hopefully we can bang these up this weekend. All right, got these blasted and outcast and everything. I got to blast them again a little bit to get some of these little spots off. I don't blast the barrels on my own wheels because they're my own wheels. I don't care if they start flaking. I'll just do them again. Um, but yeah. That's what we're gonna do. We got the powder in the hopper. Yeah, so it should look pretty cool. Um, I gotta get some clear coat ready, but then, yeah, that should be it. So we got two done. They look pretty good. Um, I used an acrylic clear this time instead of like a regular polyester based clear. And it made it like a lot more charcoaly and a lot less gold, but it still has like a gold undertone or a side tone. I don't really know what you call it. We'll see it in the daylight. It's kind of cloudy out now, so I can't take it outside to get a good view of it, but they look so much better than the black. Like, so much better. We haven't had a sunny day all week, but there it is. Just a shade lighter than stock, basically, but I like it.